smolder it's me wow sulky that really is an unexplained phenomenon silly Exposed. today's better music mix beacon fm hey just mother i'm floyd plucker deranged banjo player and i'm gonna is this the radio studio no, this is the men's room. Today's X-Fools doesn't start for a few minutes. Oh, pardon me. They investigate the creepy, the slimy, and the seepy. She's very smart, extremely sharp. He's always acting sleepy. She's Agent Donut Sulky. Smolder, it's just a mouse. He's Agent Fact Smolder. Sulky, my sister was taken by a mouse. <laughs> Ooh, it's a fast and urgent race against time. <laughs> Ooh, so why do they mumble every line? X-Fools. The annual Country and Western Music Awards. The Tammies, Nashville, Tennessee, 11 a.m. Okay, check, check. Hurry up, check people. We need to rehearse the boot scooters. Leroy, bring the giant belt buckle set onto the stage. Mm -hmm. Careful, Leroy. Yep. Careful. Yep. Move it back. Yep. Leroy, watch yep. out for the giant. Woo -hoo -hoo! Cactus. And it, people. <gasps> Look, everybody. It's the greatest banjo player in the world, Floyd Plucker. That's me, Plucker by name, Plucker by nature. I thought that was just a rumor. Why, Mr. Plucker, your rehearsal's not until this afternoon. You're right in the middle of the Judd Sisters and Shania Twain. Mm, just the way I like it. Well, maybe that wasn't just a rumor. Well, since you're here, Leroy, yep. get Mr. Plucker's banjo for him. Okay, ma'am. Say, does he always walk around with a giant cactus up his... Hey, hey, be careful with my banjo. It's okay, Mr. Plucker. Here, let me play a song. I wrote called Honey, If You Love Me, Don't Make Me Sleep on a Wet Spot. No! <laughs> a few hours later. Good afternoon, Mr. Plucker. I'm Special Agent Smolder. This is Agent Sulky. Howdy. Are you all right there, Missy? I'm sorry. Country and Western music always makes me cry. <laughs> Sad songs get to you, do they? <laughs> No, I just don't like it. Mr. Plucker, can you tell us exactly what happened this morning? Well, I got up around 7. I like to start the day with orange juice grits. Good visit to the job. Uh, sir, maybe just tell us about the stagehand spontaneously combusting when he's strumming your banjo. Oh, that. <laughs> is this your banjo, Mr. Plucker? No, 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 don't touch. Keep away. No! What is the spooky power of the banjo? How about its uncanny ability to bore and enrage at the same time? How can anyone play the banjo when a cactus up there? Very carefully. These and other spiky questions will be answered on tomorrow's episode of The x -Fools. Sulky, we've got something very scary coming up in today's x -Fools. A country and western star is going to perform and... Oh, my God! <laughs> You didn't let me finish, Sulky! They save the human race from things from outer space. She's very smart, extremely sharp. He's always off his face. He's Agent Fat Smolder. Sulky, where are you? She's Agent Donut Sulky. Smolder, I'm standing beside you. Yes. Ooh. Spooky scenes in the dead of night. Yes. Ooh. Why doesn't anyone turn on the light? X fool. Last episode, Smolder and Sulky were at the annual Country and Western Music Awards after a stagehand had spontaneously combusted. So, Mr. Plucker, this is your banjo that the stagehand strummed before he died? No! Don't touch it! Leave it alone! Oh, no, no, you, Mr. Plucker, get off me! I wasn't touching your banjo! I know, but wasn't that fun? Sulky, look, coming towards us! Isn't that Tommy Wynette? Well, maybe it's Dolly Parton, or... Hello, agents. Assistant Director Skinhead. Lovely frock. Only you would have thought to put the tassels there. Um, sir, what are you doing here? I come here every year. Well, except for the two years I was banned, and now that's being lifted. Sir, this is Floyd Plucker, the greatest banjo player in the world. Howdy, yeah, ma'am. This is such an honor. I wonder if I could trouble you for an autograph, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, who was it again? Sulky? Agents, I'm late for rehearsal. Show starts in a few hours. Now, where's my banjo? A banjo! It's gone! Two hours later. A banjo! It's gone! Mr. Plucker, you've been saying that for two hours. Really? Felt like just a couple seconds. Shh. We're creating the illusion of time passing. Any chance of that autograph? The line dancing display's about to start and I... Smolder! Did you hear that? Yes, I had no idea there was going to be line dancing. It's Mr. Plucker's banjo! Come on! Before we're too late! Ah! Sulky and Smolder, too late. Well, it's only episode two, mm. so yeah, we're late. Yeah, yeah, no. someone's gonna die. Way too late. What is the mysterious power of the banjo? Well, it always makes me think of. <laughs> Stand by for deliverance in tomorrow's installment of the Expo.
stand by your man, man, man. Assistant Director, does this have anything to do with today's country and western episode of the X-Fools? Yes, I'm thinking of working up a duet. With whom? What, do you need two people? In no one can they trust, but seek the truth they must. She's very smart, extremely sharp. His favorite word is lust. She's Agent Donut Sulky. Smolder, this place gives me the creeps. He's Agent Fax Smolder. Sulky, this is my bedroom. Ass. Ooh. The chemistry is hot and steamy. Ass. Ooh. Is that a torch or are you glad to see me? X fool. Last episode, Smolder and Sulky were at the Country and Western Music Awards investigating a banjo that was making people spontaneously combust. Come on, Smolder! Assistant Director! Somebody's got Mr. Plucker's banjo! Sulky, it's outside the auditorium! Hurry, Agent! If I don't get that banjo back, there'll be no Country Western Music concert tonight! Really? No music? Well, maybe we could take our time. These things have a way of sorting themselves out. I... Agents, through this door, I found something. Is it the banjo? No, it's the rodeo display. Oh, yeah, right on, big boy. Take him out, uh-huh. Sulky, over here. There's the guy with the banjo. There was the guy with the banjo. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Great balls of burning flesh, Agents. That was Bobby Ray, my roadie. He just burst into flames and disappeared. Funny thing is, I've been wanting to fire him for months. <laughs> but look, my baby's intact. Mr. Parker, don't touch that banjo. Don't strum it. Don't play it. You think it might be possessed? I don't know. I just hate the sound. Later, backstage. Five minutes till showtime. Assistant Director, stop hogging the mirror. Five minutes, Mr. Plucker. Five minutes. Smolder, we can't let Floyd go on stage tonight. What if his haunted banjo causes all the country and western stars to blow up and never be heard of again? Talk about a conflict of interest. Maybe we should talk to him. Mr. Plucker? Mr. Plucker? <gasps> What has happened to Floyd Plucker? Well, that's show business for you. It can be so cruel. Is this the end of country and western music as we know it? Stop teasing me. Boot scoot your way back here for tomorrow's episode of The Expo. My God. You're Floyd Plucker, country and western star of today's ex fool That's right, skinhead. You touch my banjo, you'll spontaneously combust. Oh, really? You know, I used that line once and got arrested. The guy was wired, and I touched the banjo, and, well, we went back to You're the You're weirdo. Get away from me. Oh, really? They investigate the spooky, the unexplained and fluky. She's very smart, extremely sharp. He's a little kooky. He's Agent Fax Smolder. Sulky, I'm working on a new case. She's Agent Donut Sulky. Smolder, why do you need the goat? Ex. Ooh. When Sulky's autopsy gives her a fright. Ex. Ooh. Why is it always the middle of the night? Ex. Ooh. Last episode, Smolder and Sulky were investigating a haunted banjo that was causing people to spontaneously combust. The Country and Western Music Awards, Nashville, Tennessee. Showtime. Sulky, Floyd Plucker isn't in his dressing room, and neither is his banjo. We have to find him before he plugs it in and performs a... <gasps> oh, my God, Smolder, we have to stop him. Sulky, I didn't get to the bad bit. Oh, yes, you did. Smolder, let's try the green room. Assistant Director Skinhead, have you seen Mr. Plucker? No, I've just been chatting to that lovely lady over there with the plaits. Sir, that's Willie Nelson. Really? She's a nice lady. Sulky, I heard someone playing the banjo here down the corridor. Smolder, they're moving the barnyard animals through for Mr. Plucker's set. Did someone say barnyard animals? Sulky, there he is in the wings. Floyd, stop! Hey there, Bessie. Whoa there. You know, I used to milk a girl just like you back in Nam. <laughs> Assistant Director, could you move that bucket? That banjo could blow this whole auditorium up. Don't come any closer, agents. I'm gonna go on stage as the greatest banjo player in the world. And everyone's gonna die knowing it. What do you got to say about that? Have you ever thought about the piano accordion? Can Smolder and Sulky stop Floyd Plucker? No, you can't! Oh, gee, you well, there's no need to be like that. We will find out tomorrow. Why is the assistant director milking a cow? I'm sure she'd do the same for me. Oh, is it a he? No, it's a she. Find out on tomorrow's utterly climactic episode of The X Fools. Sulky, how's my Tammy Wynette impersonation looking for today's X Fools? Nowhere near it. Patsy Klein? Not even close. Engelbert Humperdinck? Now you're talking. Okay. They solve the unexplained, the evil and insane. 
She's very smart, extremely sharp. He doesn't have a brain. She's Agent Donut Sulky. Smolder, it's me. Where are you? He's Agent Fat Smolder. Sulky, I'm stuck in the closet. X. Ooh. The background music's always scary. X. Ooh. Her top lip is kind of hairy. Ow. X. Ooh. Last episode, Smolder and Sulky were at the Country and Western Music Awards, trying to stop an explosive banjo from getting on stage. Don't come any closer, agents. I got a banjo and I'm not afraid to use it. Mr. Blucker, you can't step out on that stage. Give me one good reason why now. Because, um, Sulky? Because once you plugged your possessed banjo into the amplifier, everyone in that audience, the whole country and western music industry will be blown to smithereens. Sulky, you remind me again why that's a bad thing. I don't care. I'm going out there and proving once and for all I'm the greatest banjo player ever. Now, where's that cord? Smolder, get the lights. Oh, Sulky, I'm flattered. Move those barnyard animals through. Okay, but I'd rather it was just the two of us. Smolder, we have to create some chaos while we find the main power outlet. Hey, where'd the lights go? Hey, I can't see anything. Where's my banjo? Smolder, what are you doing? Get your hands off. Me. Sorry, Sulky. I thought you were Bessie the Cow. Assistant Director, what are you doing? I was in the middle of milking when the lights went out. Have you seen my bucket? Smolder, I can't find the main power box. Too late, Agent. <laughs> I found my cord and now I'm gonna plug it in. <gasps> oh. oh my god! Floyd Blocker stuck the electric cord into the bucket of milk. He and his banjo are both burned to a cinder. Such a sad turn of the tumbleweed. Smolder, what are you talking about? No idea. What a waste of milk. I remember in Nam, milk was precious. My lay and I used to save every... Oh, sir, not now. Don't talk about Nam again, Please, sir. sir. I know what happens in the end. Is that really the end for Floyd Plucker and his banjo? Wow, looks like so. Who'll be the world's greatest banjo player now? Well, can't be that hard. Let's see. Yeah, it's been lonesome. And... Join the Rednecks and the Red Faces next week, right here on The Expo. X. 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 Asian Fax Smolder here. Foolish. Mm, strange. Expo. <laughs> Sometimes life can be dark and strange. Sulky, it's dark and strange in here. Smolder, that's because you're in my closet. Now come on, we're on next. We're on next. Sore throat, you wanted to see me? Yes. <laughs> I have highly classified information pertaining to today's upcoming episode of The x -Files. Can you tell me what it is? No. Oh. They solve the unexplained, the evil and insane. She's very smart, extremely sharp. He doesn't have a brain. She's Agent Donut Sulky. Smolder, it's me. Where are you? He's Agent Fat Smolder. Sulky, I'm stuck in the closet. X. Ooh. The background music's always scary. X. Ooh. Her top lip is kind of hairy. Ow. X. Ooh. Washington, D.C., 1 a.m. The subway. Does Washington have a subway? Hello? Is anybody here? I got your message. Agent's motor, over here, behind the ticket machine. Oh, you're hiding. No, I dropped my change. Who are you? I'm your latest informant. <coughs> Saw throat, remember? Oh, yeah. You don't sound any better. I'm on antibiotics. Listen, there's a plot to kill you. You know too much. Wow, first time anyone's ever said that. I have to go. My day ticket's almost expired. Watch your back. Well, that's easy for you to say. It hurts my neck. Oh. The next morning, FBO headquarters, Washington, D.C. Morning, Smolder. Say, why did you race off last night in the middle of the video? You wanted to see Thomas the Tank Engine. Sulky, I may be in terrible danger. Um, did Thomas sort things out with the fat controller? Hang on. Smolder. Agent Smolder. Come to the FBO car park immediately. Wow, a woman with a really husky voice wants to see me. Bye. Smolder, wait. It could be a trap. Hmm, a woman with a husky voice. Hmm, bet she doesn't have an Emmy. 
Is Smolna about to be wiped out? Hey, hold on. It's only Monday. Will sore throat ever cure his ailment? I've got to fix my sore throat first. Join the conspiracy tomorrow on The Expo.